and welcome back to my channel, Pisces and Dreadlocks, and thank you for stopping by. And if you are new to my channel, you will quickly learn that I post content about dreadlocks about 90% of the time, and the other 10% falls under the category of other goodies. This is another goodies video. Super stoked to do this video for you because I had this idea about a month ago and have been slowly working on it and dabbling along with it. So I wanted to share this idea with you because I feel that it could be super beneficial to not just families and families with children, but also to a single person or a couple, especially those who live in a small home. And let me tell you why. So the three main topics that it covers are decluttering, organization, and financial budgeting. So what is it that I am going to share with you? I will just share it with you right now, okay? Okay. So basically, I decided to take recycled materials and create my own organized, like, do-it-yourself closet organizer. What prompted this idea was that I effing hate my closet and how I feel like every time I open it up, it's just an avalanche of crap and clutter that falls on top of me and I'm really sick and tired of it. I hope you find this video extremely helpful and we're just going to dive into it. So the easiest part about this project is honestly just collecting as many boxes as you possibly can and making a pile of them until you're ready to dive in. You're going to want to kind of mix and match different boxes uh, that have similar shapes so that way when you kind of stack them and make your organized area, it looks pretty doable and nice, kind of like this. Um, however, the choice is up to you and you can customize it as you please and whatever fits or suits your needs. I used recycled wrapping paper and construction sheets like printer paper that I had left over. Again, this is a recycled, low budget type of thing. You're going to need adhesive materials such as glue, hot glue, super glue, um, duct tape, anything to that nature to make all this come together and work well for you. I use my construction sheets to put on the back side of my boxes on the inner lining to make it crisp and smooth so there were no jaggedy edges and it had a nice finish look to it and it will hold all of my materials for organizing very well in this manner I believe. I wanted to mention that I tore off what would have been the lids to the boxes and I taped them and put them in the inside backing to add an extra layer of thickness and structure before putting in the recycled paper. I just felt like that would have been more productive in keeping everything nice and together like a regular storage bin that you would purchase at a store. So this is my end result and I think it looks freaking awesome. I'm super proud of it. Again, recycled wrapping paper, made it look nice and pretty and you can organize it and stack it just like this. I mean, the possibilities are really endless and it's your creation and your customized like deal. So it's pretty freaking awesome. I'm super excited and I love it. This video can help you kind of get yourself started in how you want to declutter and better organize your home and your materials so on and so forth. Thank you all for watching. I hope you have a blessed day and I will see you again soon.